Does Florida contain the Fountain of Youth? Maybe that's why so many old people move there. Anyway, that's what one Spanish explorer believed. Juan Ponce de Leon is a Spaniard credited as the first European to discover Florida. In most people's minds, Ponce de Leon is perhaps best remembered for his supposed quest to discover the fabled Fountain of Youth. As such, he was one of the world's most memorable European explorers. However, Ponce de Leon was far more than just an explorer. In his 61 years, he also served in the military, searched for gold and established mines, set up farming communities and other colonies, and helped plan and build defense structures to protect those communities. By some accounts, Ponce de Leon was revered for his ability to interact and negotiate with native populations without violent confrontation. He also has received harsh criticism for forcing natives into slavery. In addition to all that, he was blamed for introducing devastating diseases, including measles and smallpox, to the local communities with catastrophic results. As many of his endeavors required funding, people have questioned where Ponce de Leon got his money, his education, and how he continued to fund his exploration and the formation of the communities. Juan Ponce de Leon was born in Santarvas de Campos, Spain in 1460. Although his family was part of Spain's nobility, they were not wealthy. As a young man, Ponce de Leon served as a page for the royal court of Aragon. He later joined the Spanish military, where he fought in the campaign against the Moors in Granada. He was eventually named a captain in the military. With that success, he also developed an interest in exploration. It is believed that Ponce de Leon joined Christopher Columbus's 1493 expedition. That would undoubtedly make for an interesting story, but there is no official record that Ponce de Leon was part of the expedition. In the years following the conclusion of Columbus's second expedition, Ponce de Leon began exploring the Caribbean and the regions that are now the Dominican Republic and Haiti on behalf of the Spanish crown. Ponce de Leon used the skills and tactics he'd learned in the military to subdue and control the peoples of the Caribbean. He established several new farming colonies, which were expected to become part of Spain. The success of the colonies prompted the Spanish crown to sponsor Ponce de Leon's exploration of Puerto Rico, which was rumored to be a rich source of gold. I love gold! the look of it, the taste of it, the smell of it, the texture. Within one year of his arrival, Ponce de Leon's expedition was determined to be a success. He managed to find gold, and the location was deemed to be perfect for future opportunities. In recognition of his discoveries, Ponce de Leon was named the governor of Puerto Rico. He also married a woman named Leonara, with whom he had four children. In time, his family would move with him to the small Caribbean island. Ponce de Leon amassed immense wealth in Puerto Rico. In addition to being the governor, his gold mines and plantations provided him with a steady flow of income. Even with this success, Ponce de Leon was not done exploring. The Spanish crown sponsored Ponce de Leon for further travel and exploration. In addition to monetary compensation, the crown offered him exclusive rights and governorship of any lands he discovered. In 1513, Ponce de Leon discovered what he thought was another island, but it was actually a peninsula that was part of North America. He named the land Florida, which means flowery, as he was impressed with the plentiful flowers growing throughout the region. Legend suggests Ponce de Leon traveled to Florida to find the legendary Fountain of Youth. However, there is no verifiable evidence that that was his motivation. Instead, he was likely seeking suitable land to settle new colonies for Spain. King Ferdinand died in 1516, and much of Ponce de Leon's land was under threat by natives and other settlers. Yet his more established plantations and mines continued to provide Ponce de Leon with income until his death in 1521. Juan Ponce de Leon was fatally wounded during his second expedition to Florida. According to reports, he was attacked by Calusa warriors who wounded him with an arrow that was likely poisoned. Although he lived long enough to travel back to Cuba, he died shortly after his arrival. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more grunge videos about world history are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.